just jogged up uh, to an oasis in Angeb in the African Rift Valley. This is where David hid from, uh, from Saul. Man, look at that. Jesus said, let anyone who thirsts come to me. From within him, streams of living water will flow. What a, what a perfect image. You know, if we believe in Jesus and make him the center of our hearts and lives, streams of living water will flow from us. And quench a thirsty world. But first, first we've got to remember the first line. Let anyone who thirsts come to me. You know, first we have to go to the, the source. The one who will really quench our thirst in this dry world. So often we don't know where our hunger or thirst is coming from. We go to all the wrong places to quench our thirst. To worldly pleasures, to drugs, to alcohol, whatever it may be. To success, to power. No, no, no. Let anyone who thirsts come to me. The Christian life, it starts in a very real way with directing the thirst of our hearts back to the source of our life, which is Jesus Christ. If we do that, then, then we'll become a source of living water for a thirsty world. And by the way, that's the Dead Sea down there. Super cool.